Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends to go over Achak the Windarian. This epic champion is really a legendary. There are so many things we can do with this champion and I don't even know them all yet. We're going to figure so many things out with this. With combinations of other champions that might come out in the game that have HP burn or even freeze. We're going to be looking at this champion to see what we can do when we pair them together. What can we do with this champion in the Doom Tower? Right now I'm going to show you go through Dragon like it's nothing. I don't even think the Dragon Waves get to take a turn. We're going to do Spider 20 and Spider 19 with ease with this champion right here. The A1 attacks one enemy and has a 50% chance to decrease the duration of one random buff if the target is under an HP burn. Also has a 50% chance to decrease the target's turn meter if they are under a freeze. The A2 here puts a block debuff for one turn and a 25% strengthen for two turns on all your allies, and we can extend both of these. 25% strengthen means you take 25% less damage. That's pretty crazy, and on top of that, a three-turn cooldown to attack all enemies and get a 90% chance to freeze them if their attack is higher than their defense, or a 90% chance to place an HP debuff if the enemy's defense is equal to or higher than their attack on a three-turn cooldown. And Sniper in the Support Mastery will increase that chance to 95% for the HP burn. And then Fearsome Presence can increase this freeze to 95% as well. Now I have this guy fully booked out. The passive over here heals all allies by 5% of their max HP every time an enemy under an HP burn debuff takes a turn. Every time an enemy takes a turn, you're going to get everybody will get a 5% of their max HP heal. That there's five guys that you have HP burned over there whenever they take a turn, we just keep healing. If there's spiderlings out there, we just keep healing. With this one here, whenever they are frozen and take a turn, we get a 10% turn meter. Everybody gets a 10% turn meter. So if we have five people frozen, they usually have about the same speed on a team. So they will all unfreeze around the same time, and we're going to get a big boost in turn meter. If it's a whole bunch of spiderlings out there, we're going to get pretty much a turn is what it's going to come down to. It is nuts what this champion can do, and it has an increased defense in all battles. I didn't go for Fearsome Presence, and I didn't even go for Sniper here to make that 90 into a 95% chance. But you're going to see these runs that we run through in Dragon. I don't even think the enemy takes a turn. You're going to see Spider 20 and Spider 19. And then later on, once I keep experimenting with this champion and additional copies of this champion together to see if their passive will keep boosting, it's going to be nuts. Harvest Despair will pop up all the time with Achak the Windarian, so make sure you have Harvest Despair. If my allies get hit, I'm trying to get additional turn meter. I'm trying to get additional turn meter here when my buffs expire. Over here, we're trying to extend the buffs. Additional cooldown, we want Evil Eye. Then we're trying to extend the duration of the burn whenever we place a burn up, and we're getting additional accuracy along with accuracy. That's all I did for this champion. You could run this champion with no masteries whatsoever. All we care about is trying to burn and freeze as many people as possible, get those heals up, get that turn meter, put up this on the boss. Whenever we get to, like, this is going to help us get to the boss in an insane way. And then when we get to the boss fight, sure, the rest of this won't help a lot. But this strengthen, taking less damage and blocking debuffs will definitely help us. This champion, I don't know. I feel like this is a in-between epic and legendary. Like, it could be a legendary. If this came out as a legendary instead of Pixneal, this just had a gold border. I'd be like, you know what? This legendary is pretty sweet. We're going to do a very quick run through Dragon. It's going to look amazing. We're going to get those freeze up. When they come out of that freeze, we're going to get a turn meter increase for the whole entire team. And it's going to happen a lot. And then we're going to loop back around to our three turn cooldown to freeze them again. Watch this. Let's just see what happens. So we froze them all. Now, even when he died, we got a turn meter increase. So freeze dropped off of him. Freeze drop off of there. We got another 10%. Now, when these two drop off, that's going to be 20%, right? 10% each. We're going in with rares with the Windarian, and the skill is back up again. Unfortunately, it used it right then, so it's not going to be ready when we come to the next wave, but we're getting a couple turns in here. I think we're going to be okay. We, we are definitely going to be okay. Let's see if they even take a turn. And it's not just amazing that it gets us through the wave so easily. Again, it has that block debuffs and the strengthen 25% less damage for when we face bosses. And when we go through the Doom Tower, I just can't wait. I can't wait to see what we can do against waves in the Doom Tower that aren't the tanky ones. Because putting up an HP burn or even the tanky ones, if we can find a way to keep our survivability going. We can put up the HP burn out there, get those heals as we go, have some big shields or something to keep us alive while we just keep burning those waves in the doom tower or freezing them up there it is freeze again i don't think they took a turn i really don't 
Well, the boss has higher attack than defense, and we can't we can't freeze the boss. So we'll see we'll see like a block buffs, block debuffs pop up. Okay, we get that up. I was trying to scale out. Let's see what it says here. It says debuff block, so we cannot freeze it, obviously. But it would have been really cool if it had higher defense and we could put up a burn. But that's all right. We don't need that. Look, we're blocking, and now we're taking 25% less damage. So it's not a waste at a boss. A lot of times we have something that helps us carry through the waves, but when we get to the boss, they're really there's not a lot going on with them after that. We can hopefully get some kind of proc, maybe if you have War Master or Giant Slayer. But with this one, the Windarian, it's all right. We don't need that. We're just going to come in here, take it down two minutes and eight seconds. Let's get on over to Spider 20 and Spider 19 and see how easy it is. We're going to come in here with Ultimate Gaelic to get our burns up on Spider 20 and our Spirit Host, which is a rare, along with our two Armager Uncommons, our Windarian is going to tank the whole entire battle. It has really high defense. And great HP. The Windarian has really high defense. Of course, we've got resistance. We can take these hits. We've got block debuffs up. And we're being healed. We are being healed nonstop. They attack us. We're healed. And now they're all frozen. <laughs> now we're getting our turn meter increase. Ultimate G is burning him up. And now we're getting our turn meter increase along with our heals. And we don't even have to worry about anybody else. It's good that he's the off affinity here for 20 because they can go ahead. Go ahead and come in and attack our boy. That's fine. There we go. We're up with the strength and again, 25% less damage. We're getting the heals. Nobody, there's no healers on this team. We have no life steal on this team. We have nothing else to heal, but we're getting heals from this. Look, it looks like we're getting low, but look at that. We just froze everybody. <laughs> look at all those leech too. We just froze everyone and then they're taking their turn from the freeze. We're getting a turn meter increase and we're getting heals even though they're frozen and back up. Jack, he's no joke. This champion is no joke. Freeze again. From all that turn meter increase, back around, three turn cooldown, leeches up. So if you have an AO, like if you had an AoE tank in here with all those leech up on everybody when they're frozen, then they would, like if you had somebody else tanking and they had lower HP and they were coming after that one all the time, as long as they have a really reliable AoE all the time, they would be healing back from all that leech that's up. But it didn't matter. We didn't use any kind of leech or counterattack. One minute and 38 seconds, two armagers, ultimate G, and a spirit host. That's pretty damn good. Now, the funny thing is, 19 is actually much harder. I, I ran the same exact team. No, actually, I took out spirit host and I put in apothecary. When ultimate G comes in and tries to get his increased attack, he has to crit to do it. But if we weak hit, he won't he won't crit and if he doesn't crit he doesn't get his increased attack if he doesn't have an increased attack on him when he does that aoe move to apply the burn he won't apply burns he has to have an increased attack up to apply burn and i did run spirit host in here in the beginning but we need more heals ultimate g isn't as sturdy as our windarian so we've got to bring in somebody to give him a little bit of heals and to give us more time because he, now he's got the increased attack up. So now when he does his AOE, sure, we're going to get weak hits, but we still got a chance to apply the HP burn. And we're still freezing everybody up. We see all those leech. So if you had a Bellower stunning as well as kind of tanking for you or anything, your Zephyr Sniper tank, all that with those AOEs that they do would just heal back so quickly. And they wouldn't even need the Lifesteal gear because you've got all those leeches up fairly often often enough i mean on a three turn cooldown and we're really going faster than they are we're cycling through that there it is again so this one took much longer it's so crazy that 19 is so much harder but again we're using a magic affinity for the burn if it wasn't for that and if it wasn't so hard for us to to miss getting up that increased attack and then we don't apply burns at all it would have been smoother it would have, it would have been faster but that's okay it didn't matter if it took a long time it's still we autoed it we went through here and we killed the spider on 19. And on 20, we really destroyed that spider. A minute and 38 seconds. With two armagers, a spirit host at 50. And then who else do we have in here? And with the Windarian and Ultimate G. So if you have that, use it. And if you don't have Ultimate G, bring in your Cold Heart. If you have a Cold Heart with this team, sure. Cold Heart will take care of business for you. Because you're gonna you're just gonna keep doing this. This guy is so much fun. Like I said before, I cannot wait till we see what we can do with this champion. What kind of combinations can we do and what kind of content can we get through easily and just have a lot of fun doing it. 
That's it, everyone. Let me know what you think about him or her, whatever it is. Everybody's telling me it's a lady demon spirit. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.